when I was little, all I knew that I wanted to do in my life was go to India. So I just like had that as my goal. And in high school, I like worked and put money aside, worked, put money aside so that when I was done school, I went to India and Nepal by myself for a year and a half. And that's what like changed my life. And it, it made me be realize that I wanted to spend time in Asia and I wanted to make travel a big part of my life. Tibet for me really like changed my life because of the people and the people that I met there really affected me when they told me their stories. Like the more time I spent in Tibet the more I wanted to help and do my part to try and make a difference for those people. So what I decided to do was take the money that I was making and reinvest it in those communities. So I set up microfinance programs um, to help with poverty. We invest small amounts of money with zero interest. The difference that I kind of add to it because I was living with the people is that we would provide skills as well. So if people wanted to get involved in the program but they didn't know how to sew or didn't didn't have the skill set that we required, we would help them um, gain that. And then if I couldn't, I know how to sew, I don't know how to woodwork and make the silversmith. So we would bring in skilled artisans to the different communities to teach the people. And then the, the programs have grown from there. So now we employ three communities and 120 people. So the Tibetan microfinance, we sell the, like I design the stuff, it's made there, and then we sell it here in the shop. A very small amount of money is made um, for the store by that, but it's kind of my heart program. So this is one of the examples. So this is a little snow lion puppet. It's made with felt. Um, so Tibetan women, when they get married, they wear an apron that's felted. And so we've taken that traditional craft and changed it, tweaked it, to make it marketable here. So then we made these little finger puppets. Um, and then we have like a little write-up about the person who made it and, and their life story. With the microfinance, it's really changed people's lives. It's, it's given them an opportunity to... Like, they're nomadic, so often they're buying more livestock. But at the beginning we made mistakes that we, you know, these people went from kind of just scraping by to having a disposable income. And one day I was with a group and we saw a yak carrying a giant TV. And I realized there that like, if we don't go to these communities and work with them and say, okay, these are sustainable ways to spend this money, then that's gonna happen more. So we went back and then did some education about, you know, this is a sustainable income, but it's maybe, it's not gonna be forever. So you need to use this money in positive ways and reinvest. Some of the families that we work with, one of them is they're the Chule family. And this family has gone from really scraping by to having um, 50 yaks, which is considered to be a very healthy number of yaks. <laughs> Tibetans live their life based on compassion and kindness, and that is also what kind of changed, m affected me the most, is I never really met people that had, that based their lives on these positive things. So no, and I try to live my life the same way.